Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. We here in Saskatchewan are in the midst of summer and between the sun and the storms I've been able to get out on the fabulous fat boy fairly often now and it was on one of these rides that I thought to myself what could the next video be about and I came up with the idea for the video of the bike that got me into Harley Davidson to begin with and that is the iconic Evolution Fat Boy. Now of course if we're going to talk about the Harley Davidson Evolution Fat Boy we've got to talk about the actual Evolution engine. Now this engine came out about 1984 and lasted till around 1989 and really kind of helped save Harley's bacon back in the in the early 90s once uh, once uh, AMF was gone. Um, now these engines for me are probably the best engine that Harley ever made. These motors are very durable if they're taken care of. Um, there's tons of parts still available for them. Uh, aftermarket companies make clones of them like uh, SNS I believe makes an, en an evolution engine. They can go for miles. They were a beautiful, beautiful engine, and I love them. And I wish that I had um, a Fat Boy Evolution engine still. Now I do have the Evolution in the in the old Sportster, but they were beautiful. And for my money, there is not a better sounding bike than a carbureted 80 cubic inch Evolution motor. Now the Fat Boy came out in 1990 and it was a design by uh, Willie G. And uh, he wanted to build kind of that stripped down machine-like cruiser, uh, nothing too fancy, had the fatter tires, kind of that industrial look. It was a bit of a nod to the military and it was a beautiful, beautiful bike in my opinion, probably one of the best. Mwah. Um, I love the badging on it. I love uh, those the wheels, just those solid wheels. It was a, an excellent, excellent bike. I love the badging on it. I still think that Harley should be using that badging, and uh, I hope I hope that Harley comes out with uh, an icon model of uh, the 1990 Fat Boy or even the 91 Fat Boy, and uh, in, if they come out with that, I mean, it's going to be hard not to buy one. Now, I don't think I can talk about uh, the Fat Boy, especially an Evolution Fat Boy, without bringing up this guy here, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. When uh, I watched Terminator 2, uh, that's when I fell in love with Harley Davidson, and especially the Fat Boy. That was the, the absolute coolest thing I had ever seen at that point in my life. And uh, I don't know that there's another bike in a movie that's as iconic a Harley Davidson as that one is, except for perhaps uh, the Captain America bike in uh, Easy Riders. But uh, for my money, if you're going to watch a movie, watch Terminator 2, because Easy Rider, uh, not my cup of tea. Now I have had um, about four fat boys so far. And I've had a twin cam, I've had two twin cams, I've had a Milwaukee 8, and I have had an Evolution Fat Boy. Uh, I had a 1995 Evolution Fat Boy, and uh, it looked pretty much like this. Um, it's the actually the only bike I don't have a picture of, surprisingly, but uh, it was pretty much stock. It was, uh, it was black, I actually love the little color scheme it had. Uh, the only thing I think it really had was, um, I think it had an engine guard and foot pegs and it had straight drag pipe. So it was probably the loudest bike I've ever had, but it was great. I loved it. I loved that bike. And I really, I really wish that I didn't get rid of it. I ended up trading it in, but if I could have it back, I'd, I'd love to. And really there's a lot of them out there, um, for sale used bikes. Um, for really only about several hundred or several thousand bucks, it seems like. I just don't have the money to be able to go get one, but uh, I'd love to have another one. Now, the Harley-Davidson 
evolution, fat boy. It had to go away. It died, as all things do. And uh, it left to make way for the twin cam engine. Uh, in my opinion, I, uh, I favor the Evolution engine over the twin cam. Um, reason being, um, even though it's not as, as powerful as the twin cam was, um, it just it, it seemed to run better for me, and it also didn't generate the thigh melting heat as well. Um, so I'd love to see an Evolution come back out in, in a fat boy and hey like I said before God willing we will have an icon model come out at some point Harley if you're listening this year would be a good time so that's it for today kids that's my little trip down memory lane back to a a simpler time perhaps a better time when the evolution engine was rolling and now I'm sure some of you out there have the fat boy with the evolution engine in please take care of it and don't ever get rid of it they're great bikes you'll regret it if you do i know i do but anyway that's it for today hopefully uh, you guys can get out there uh it's raining here right now so i won't be going anywhere today but uh hopefully you guys get out there and uh stay safe on the road out there on your fat boys